It is possible to set up an animation um, where one of your graphics follows a path around the screen so you don't have to sort of like do many, many little um, individual movements yourself. And the way to do that is to um, use this thing called a guide path. But let me go ahead and make myself a uh, movie clip. I'm going to call this um, follow path because that's what the animation will be. I'm going to bring my graphic that I already created on. So here's my circle. And then the next thing I'm going to do is actually add a special layer over here on the timeline. It's this one that's got a red dotted line and that adds a motion guide. And what I want to do is draw on this motion guide layer my path. To get this to work you must use this tool, the pencil tool. So I've got it. I'm going to um, start drawing right in the middle of this thing and I'm going to draw myself a path around the screen. And I'm going to get to here, not quite connecting them, but almost. I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to my selector tool. And I'm going to, let's see, go to frame 30. And I'm going to make a copied keyframe by hitting F6. I then need to extend my guide layer as well, but I don't want it to have separate keyframes. So I'm going to go on frame 30 and I'm going to insert a blank frame, not a keyframe, but a blank frame. And the keyboard shortcut for that is F5. Okay. And then I want to apply a tween on the layer where the, the uh, graphic is actually sitting. So let me create a motion tween. And there's one last step, and that is to make sure that this thing is actually hooked to the path. So I'm going to just go and make sure, and it, wa it, sh it the middle of it wants to hook on, and you can kind of tell as you're moving that it's snapping to the path, and I need to go to the end and show it where to be connected to the path. So I'm at the last keyframe, I'm going to bring this guy over here, and now he is snapped onto the path, and I can test it out by hitting enter. Sweet, it follows it. And um, the, the thing about this is when I go back to scene one and I pull this guy on, I don't actually see the guide layer. So even though it was ugly and yellow while I was working with it, um, it doesn't end up being that way. Let's test the movie. There, now it seems to be following a path. You can't see the path. Um, so that is cool. And that is how you get a graphic to follow a path in Flash.